Back in the book segment tonight, Reality Check, where the record gets straightened out. Lots of good stuff tonight. Check one. When I go on The View in a few weeks, I will respectfully ask the ladies why John McCain got grilled, but Barack Obama got a giant hug. Today, Bill Clinton showed up and got a few hugs. Some people feel that uh, Senator uh, Obama did not choose uh, Senator Clinton because he didn't want you in the bargain. So I'm sure you heard that. <laughs> First of all, I don't know the answer to that. I think that he felt more comfortable with another choice, and you have to respect that. Well, follow-up question should have been, but why? Check two. Colbert and Stewart, two wild and crazy guys, did this on the Emmy broadcast. What are you doing? I'm sorry, John. I'm just enjoying these delicious prunes. <laughs> Go ahead. You, Go need, ahead. you need to do that right now? You need to eat prunes? Right yes, now. John. I need to. <laughs> and you know what? I think right now, America needs a prune. It may not be a young, sexy plum. Granted, it is shriveled and at times hard to swallow. But this dried up old fruit has the experience we need. So much wit, so little time. Check three. When we last left San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom, he was saying this. They were right about San Francisco and all these. I mean, if the O'Reilly, Bill O'Reilly, was so right, the world would have already come to an end out here. The sky would have fallen. The challenge is it hasn't. We're doing better than ever economically. Businesses are doing better than ever. Oh, yeah? So here's the real deal in San Francisco. Unemployment's close to the national average. Tax revenues are up across the board. So economically, the mayor's right. However, and this is pretty big, mayor, you wanted to eliminate more than 1,000 jobs because your city is running a $338 million deficit. Whoa! So while business might be good, management is not. Check four. Also in economic trouble, General Electric, the parent company of NBC. A front page article in New York Times today says that some analysts believe the company will be downgraded from blue chip status because of bad management. Check believes that is karma because CEO Jeffrey Immelt continued doing business with Iran while that country was killing Americans in Iraq. Unconscionable. Now, as Reverend Wright might say, the chickens are coming home to roost. Indeed. Check five. A culture war is erupting at the movies. Bill Maher's anti-religion film opens October 3rd. It promises to bring new definition to the word sacrilege. But also opening on October 3rd is an American carol a comedy that mocks Michael Moore and Rosie O'Donnell. Add to that, Oliver Stone's movie portraying President Bush as the devil, and you have an interesting situation. We'll track which film does the best at the box office. That should be interesting. Check six. Tomorrow marks the release of my new book, A Bold, Fresh Piece of Humanity. Hooray! Now, we expect the usual personal attacks on left-wing media, but so far the publicity has been great. I hope you saw the excerpt in yesterday's Parade magazine. If you missed it, you can read it on Parade.com, and they are also giving away some signed books there. Tomorrow morning, shortly past 7 a.m. Eastern, I will be on Good Morning America, then Fox and Friends, and if you can't catch those, Edie Hill interviews me on BillOReilly.com about the book. Also on BillOReilly.com, for every bold, fresh ordered, Random House will ship one to our troops overseas. We know money is tight these days, but the book costs about the same as two movie tickets, maybe a little less. However, you will get your money's worth on this one for real. And that is Reality Check. Pin